Well, here's another tall tale for you, but this time it's true. Six easy ways to make yourself taller. So, you want to be taller, huh? I don't know. I think you're great just the way you are. But I admit there are some advantages to being tall. I mean, you can reach high shelves, and you don't have to worry about anybody blocking your view at movies or concerts, and <laughs> it's easier to slam dunk in basketball. Now, not all of us are naturally tall, and that can be frustrating. So, are you out of luck just because you weren't genetically gifted with bonus height? Nah. There are a number of things you can do to up your chances of, well, going up. <laughs> this is especially true for teens and even young adults, since their bodies are still growing. Plus, wannabe tall people have a few simple tricks up their sleeves to maximize their height. So, let's get on with it and find out how you can make yourself taller. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Then you won't miss any of our new videos. Alright, here's number 1. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Remember when you were a kid and your parents always said, eat your veggies if you want to grow up big and strong? Well, they definitely knew what they were talking about. Eating right in your youth helps you grow taller, so pay attention to these diet tips. First, get plenty of lean protein. Protein is extremely important for growth and muscle development, so you should try to consume it whenever possible. This includes beans, eggs, skinless white poultry like chicken or turkey, fish, and soy. Avoid fattier sources of protein like red meat, dark poultry, and poultry skin because they can be high in saturated fat. Be careful with protein supplements like energy bars. A lot of them have tons of sugar and fat, so make sure you read the label first. Stay away from simple carbohydrates, fatty or processed foods, and sweet stuff. Really? <laughs> yep. So that's a no for things like pizza, non-whole wheat pasta, cakes, and of course, oh, fast food. You want to eat more complex carbs like beans, wild or brown rice, and potatoes. No, we're not talking about the fried kind. They're too fatty and have most of the nutrients cooked right out of them. They're too fatty and to a minimum. I know, that seems impossible when you're surrounded by candy, chips, soda, and all sorts of heavily sweetened food. Even fruit juice is super high in sugar, so you shouldn't have more than one glass a day. The more sugar you put in your body, the more your body has to store the excess energy in your fat cells. Plus, you don't want an increased risk of developing diabetes. Eat healthy snacks like veggies and nuts and switch your pop out for water. Now, let's see which vitamins and nutrients you'll want to pay special attention to if you're looking to gain new heights. Make calcium your best friend. Calcium helps build muscles and healthy bones. You can find it in spinach, kale, tofu, beans, broccoli, and dairy. The common saying is that plenty of milk builds strong bones. But watch out! A high intake of milk has been linked to prostate and possibly ovarian cancer. Not to mention, it can be full of saturated fat and added sugar. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't drink milk at all. Just know that there are other healthier options out there. Make sure to eat foods high in zinc. Researchers at the University of New Zealand found a possible link between zinc deficiency and reduced growth. So try to up your intake of seafood, such as crabs and oysters – boy, you don't have to tell me twice – along with wheat germ, pumpkin seeds, lamb, and nuts, especially peanuts. Vitamin D is extremely important for healthy growth, and studies show that when you don't get enough of this vitamin, it can stunt growth or cause weight gain. You can get your vitamin D in fish, mushrooms, and alfalfa. Some milks, fruit juices, and cereals come fortified with vitamin D too. Or you can always just spend more time outdoors. There's a reason vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin. You'll get plenty of it from exposure to natural sunlight. In fact, all you need is 15 minutes to get your fair share. Just don't forget your sunscreen. Tip number 2. Get plenty of exercise.
Exercise goes hand in hand with a balanced diet in building a strong, healthy, tall body. You should spend at least 30 minutes a day working your muscles and limiting your time spent on sedentary activities like playing video games or watching movies. I know, they're fun and all, but maybe you can make TV time a reward for getting in your daily workout. One of the funnest ways to get enough exercise is to join a sports team. Find a sport you enjoy, particularly an active one like soccer or basketball. You can very easily spend an hour or two running around without even trying too hard. Other good options are signing up for a track team or getting together with your friends and throwing a ball or a frisbee around. If you're not really into sports, consider joining a gym. It'll give you access to weight racks, machines calibrated to maximize muscle development, and helpful information from nutritionists and fitness specialists. Going to the gym will also keep you accountable. Odds are you'll feel pretty silly if you're at the gym, but you're not working out. If none of those options are your cup of tea, or they don't really work for you personally, get out and walk around. Make walking a regular part of your routine. If you want to go somewhere, whether it be the grocery store or the library, if it's within walking distance, then hoof it. Tip number three, get enough sleep. Hey, I get it. You've got a lot on your plate at school, work, or at home. And we're all guilty of staying up late watching TV or binging on YouTube videos. But don't underestimate the importance of sleep. Sleep is vital, especially when you're young and your body's still growing. You see, when you're off in dreamland, your body is busy producing the human growth hormone HGH. So if you limit your sleep, it's basically like limiting your chances for growth. It's also so crucial for fitness and health in general. The National Sleep Foundation recommends teens get from 8 to 10 hours of sleep, while adults should be aiming for 7 to 9 hours. Man, I don't think I'm getting my fair share. However, quality is just as important as quantity. Make sure you're sleeping in a pitch-black room – that's right, no TV or gadgets running – with a temperature between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit for the best sleep you can get. Getting good, sound sleep will stimulate your pituitary gland to produce more HGH, and you'll function better throughout the day. Tip number 4. Have taller parents. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's not very fair advice now, is it? It's not like you can go back in time and make your mom and dad taller. But it's important to understand that 60 to 80% of your height is genetic, and there's not much you can do about that. But don't lose hope. Whether your parents are short or even tall, you can still increase your chances of growing taller than them by using the techniques in this video. Tip number 5. Avoid things that stunt your growth. While you're working to maximize your height, try not to do anything counterproductive to that goal. And there are several things you can do to keep yourself on the short side, so do your best to avoid them. Drugs and alcohol. They both can restrict your growth either directly or by messing up your diet and sleep cycle. Drugs and alcohol are especially harmful during your youth, which again is your primary growth years. Malnutrition. You've probably heard that people were shorter in the past, and that was primarily due to malnutrition. Make sure you get enough to eat and, again, consume a nutritionally balanced diet. Caffeine Some people say that caffeine stunts your growth, but does it really? Most studies have debunked this myth, but keep in mind that caffeine can disrupt your sleep cycle. And remember, sleep is necessary for proper growth. Tobacco According to Columbia University's Internet Health Resource, the available research suggests that children who smoke or are exposed to secondhand smoke are shorter than those who don't smoke or are children of non-smokers. So, to be on the safe side and to avoid cancer, stay far away from smoking. And that includes vaping, guys. Steroids. Definitely do not take steroids. 
Anabolic steroids mess up your body in lots of ways. Low sperm count in men, inhibited breast development in women, weak bones, elevated blood pressure, and potential heart attack. Yikes! If you have asthma or use an inhaler that dispenses the steroid bunazonide, you'll probably end up on average half an inch shorter than those who don't. Number 6. Embellish your height So, you've done everything right and maximized your growth. You're as tall as you're going to get. But you're still not satisfied with your height. Now what? Well, here are some tricks you can use to make yourself seem taller. Stand and sit with good posture. Don't slouch. Roll your shoulders slightly toward your back. You'll look taller and in command. Wear tighter clothes. Fitted clothing accentuates the line of your body and makes you look visually taller. Baggy clothes, however, hide those lines, making you seem smaller. Slim-fitting clothes can also give you a significant confidence boost, and our perceived height is as much a matter of how we present ourselves as how tall we actually are. Go for height-boosting footwear. <laughs> Years ago, I remember Elton John wore 4-5 to five inch platform shoes to be taller. <laughs> so did I back then. <laughs> Today's boots have thick soles that can add an inch or so to your height. And of course, heels are always an option. If you have long legs, wear shorts or miniskirts. Long dresses or leggings that show only a little bit of skin between the hem and your socks make your legs look shorter. Wear dark colored clothes. They're naturally slimming. Colors like black, dark blue, and forest green can all contribute to looking taller, especially if you go dark from head to toe. Wear clothing with vertical stripes. This print produces an optical illusion that makes you look visually taller. Horizontal stripes do the opposite, making you look stocky and short. Finally, hey, you can try stilts and add a few feet to your height. Otherwise, you can always surround yourself with minions, like the ones from Despicable Me. Either way, you can't help but look taller. So, your highness, what's the best tall tip you know? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.